Good morning. So it's uh, half past eight or almost in the morning and it's time to take our Electron application that we've built yesterday using Electron pre-built. It's um, actually that small little application that's wrapping the Angular documentation website and it's time to use to automate creating distributable packages of this app to distribute it to Windows, to Linux and to OS X. But before we could actually start um, creating those the, the build process, uh, we have to or I would like to have a custom app icon. So we have our folder right here. Let's remove the uh, the DS store folder. We have our folder right here, so nothing has happened since uh, the last video. It's uh, the, it's still the same. We have the surrounding package JSON for our project. We have the manifest for our Electron app and the instruction file with all the instructions for the Electron app. If you haven't seen the video before, double check it uh, on my YouTube channel and. Um, to 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 understand actually what we are what we're doing right here but for now we would like to have a folder where we could put in all the different icons that we need for windows os x and and linux so let's create a folder call it assets and let's save image and let's put that into that assets folder and let's say that's not angular svg that's the logo SVG and we need as I said we need the logo in in different uh, file types and I use a small tool called iConvert icons for that so right here you could specify the the targeting file formats you were interested in and just grab your source image from here drag it over there and specify the destination folder and hit save and boom here we go so for png we got a lot of different sizes so let's take the biggest one and say your logo let's copy it from there paste it in the top level folder and let's say oops that was wrong so and let's say you are 256x256 okay so we have our icon in place. <coughs> Sorry for that. Um, so right now it's 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 time it's time to install the tool that is responsible for downloading the electron uh, the electron binaries and concatenating both electron binaries and our application to have a distributable package. So I use Electron Packager for that. I've already opened up the the API documentation from the repository itself. So it provides a bunch of options that you could use uh, when specifying how you would like to, to build your app or for which platform do you would like to, to have it, uh, to get it generated. So there are, there are plenty of different options. I prefer Electron Packager when it comes to um, creating a simple build, just hooking up some scripts in uh, the package JSON file. If you're interested in extending a more complex build, like having a gulp build that uh, is responsible for minifying all the bits and bytes, and in the very end of that build, you would like to, to get your Electron apps uh, generated. I prefer Electron, um, no, it's gulp-awesome-electron. So that's a fork I, I maintain um, from, oops, that's the, that's the build. Um, that's a fork I maintain from, I think the original package is Gulp Electron. I think so, it's somewhere listed in the package JSON. Yeah, Gulp, Gulp Atom Electron is, is the origin. And I added some, some features I, I really, really missed when, when using Gulp Atom Electron and call it Gulp Awesome Electron. So if you're interested in extending your Gulp process, that's the place you have to go. 
And if you would like to see it in a video, just leave a comment below. But for now, we would like to focus on Electron Packager because our build will be really, really simple. Um, so let's say npm install dash dash no dash progress electron packager dash dash save dev. There we go. And while installation is taking place, we can go through um, some of the important um, some of the important options that you could specify for your build. So first of all there is of course the platform um, option so you could specify either linux win32 darwin which is generally speaking os x um, mas means mac app store so that's a dedicated way how to package the app if you would like to distribute it through apple's uh, mac store or you could specify all so we will use throughout that video linux win32 darwin and the all platforms uh, switch um, another important option is the icon option so as you can see os x wants to have that icns file windows wants to have that i that ico file uh, linux option is not required blah 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 and as you can see please note you need to use a png and not OS X or Windows icon format. So if we would like to build it for OS X, we have to specify the ICNS, for Windows the ICO, and for Linux the PNG. And if we use the, the switch platforms, all or all platforms, then uh, Electron Packager is taking care of that. We only have to specify the file name and it's automatically looking if there is a file with the right extension, then it uses that icon. If not, it uses the default icon. Another important one is of course the version, but version uh, the version property, but version is a bad keyword for searching. No, right here. So that's the Electron version. Um, you find a list of all versions on the Electron documentation site. Go over there, click releases, and here you go. You can pick one of all those. We will use latest and greatest for now. And yeah, let's get started. So installation should be finished, right? and move our, to our package JSON. As you see, dependency is listed right here. And first of all, we would like to start with the build OS X. And if for OS X, we would like to execute Electron Packager and we would we have to specify the source there. The sources live in SRC. Um, we have to specify the version to 1.4.3 right before um, we say we want like to get the platform Darwin Darwin and we would like to have the icon being used from assets dash logo dot ICNS we specify an out there so where should the the packaged app actually being placed at that's relative to our current folder it's in a dist folder and we would like to override over right um, the generated app if it already exists so if I execute the, this job more than once it will override the, the generated app so that's it let's give it a try npm run build OS X and if I didn't do any mistake or any typo then it should generate our app Okay, wrote new app to dist, blah, blah, blah. Let's open, open dist. Let's move it over there. And as you can see, our custom app icon. Let's start the app. Come on, there it is on the second screen. And here we go with our custom app icon integrated everywhere, great. So that was a little bit fast. Why was that so fast? Let's open up a new no, I don't want to upgrade my shell right now. Um, why was that so fast? Well, let's do it with that font size is better for you to read. Um, it was that fast because in our home directory, there is something called the electron and which is a cache listing all those um, electron binaries for all the different platforms. So if we, for example, remove 
electron 1.4.3, oh, no, no, 2, so let's say dot 3 for Linux and go back to our project folder, clean it up and take care about the Linux build by specifying all those difficult properties, not for Linux. Provide a unique name for a script, hit save, go back to the command line and let's execute npm run build-linux. It will pull down the electron binaries. As you can see, it should be 43 megabytes here. Yeah. So after downloading it, it will be located in that .electron folder in your home folder. And from time to time, it's uh, it's a good it's a good decision to to clean up that folder because electron binaries, you know, they they, they release very often, so that folder be uh, will will grow and grow after over time. And right here we have also generated the Linux executable. Um, OS X uh, can't, can't display the app icons for the different uh, for other platforms. Uh, but we, we will verify at least for Windows, we will verify it in a minute. So let's build the app for Windows with the ICO switch. And let's say we want to build Win32. This is Win32. Let's go to the console. Let's say npm run build Win32. It's packaging, come on. Win32 takes a little bit longer because we embed the icon and to, to get that working on OS X, you have to install Wine and the build process will uh, open the generated executable uh, during the build time again and inject the custom app icon. So let's set up, uh, take some time. I use Homebrew to install Wine. I think version 1.6 something is the minimal version. And um, they use a small tool called RC Edit, which is also maintained by GitHub um, to, to inject the, the icon into the executable. So in order to get the build working, you need to have all the, the all those dis dependencies that um, RC edit um, ls grab RC I think RC edit yeah it's RC edit um, you need to to get it working so double check um, okay so double check this repo, this repo, come on. Um, yeah, it's wine one six. And as soon as you have node RC added up and running, you are able to inject uh, custom application icons for Windows executables from your Mac. Okay, but uh, yeah, back to business. Private ng desktop was our working directory. Let's open again the dist folder. And let's take our Windows executable, copy it, copy Windows executable. Uh, let's go to C output and let's paste it over there. Copying, copy, 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 copy. Okay, here we go. And as you can see, there is our custom Windows, I our custom executable icon. Let's start the app. Windows is still thinking, so I've just started the the virtual machine. It may take yeah a while, but it's almost there. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so that's the application for all three major platforms, but we would like to to make it a little bit easier. So we don't want to, you know, execute all those uh, three built scripts side by side or one after another. Let's copy that one and let's say we want like we would like to build all. Uh, 
using the platform all switch and we for the icon we provide the icon file name without having the the extension specified and uh, to verify to really verify if it's working let's rmrf this let's remove the dist folder and let's regenerate everything npm run build i think it's build or build all build dash all here we go OS X first, Linux after that, Mac Store. I think that mm, c could fail because we haven't specified all the all the metadata for for Mac Store. But well, yeah, warning. Um, but at least it it generates Windows after that one. Okay, so Windows, come on. That's the last one. Boom, open this. Okay, so and here are the binaries. Yeah, so that's it. Um I see what what have you seen in the in the past ten something minutes? Well we've taken our application and used Electron Packager to bundle the app. And as I've said, if you're interested in bundling the app during your build process, leave a comment below and uh, perhaps we will we will record another video to explain how to do that as part of your gulp or grunt or whatever your build uh, build process is